G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now I'm going to go on a little hunt today. The weather itself outside is absolutely atrocious. It is freezing cold, it's about 10 degrees, 9 degrees. The wind is hitting 50 kilometers an hour. And I don't know why, but I'm going to go for a hunt. So I'm going to head down to a spot I've been to before, um, a little jetty. You probably saw it in a, a, a video or two ago, I did some detecting around it. I did find a little Trippence, 1898 Trippence. I'm just going to go around that local area again. And uh, historically there, have, there were houses along the foreshore. So I'll see how I go. I'll try a bit of the actual mud, mud mangrove area as well as have a walk around on the grass area as well, see how we go. So let's get down there and check it out. Rightio guys, well, I made it down here. Ooh, she's looking a bit nasty. Actually, I think I might have to get my waterproof case, just in case. Waterproof case, just in case. Now, I'm dressed up to the hilt here. I've got three layers of clothing on shit weather today, it's, it's windy as all hell, oh God. and I've got this little case here, this pelican case for the, for the um, camera, for the phone, and I have my shoulder, you can see it's a bit black, it's definitely going to come in and smother me, so I will get it, and uh, Car up. Oh, here we go. Shit. It really is a crap weather, but I've got, I've got my fingerless gloves on. I've got two gloves on the left hand. Um, but I'll show you where I'm going. I'm just going down to the foreshore. I've been trying to research the history and along the water's edge. Back in the late 1800s, they used to have housing along the water. And I know this reserve area has got, has a lot of um, events here as well. So the local township here just comes down, they have concerts and Christmas parties and all that sort of stuff. So I might give the grass area a go as well, but I'll take you over to where I'm looking at and I'll give you a look. All right guys, so I don't, I'm blocking the wind, the wind's behind me. But that wind is picking up, it's probably pushing 60 kilometers an hour now to it. Uh, got a bit of a holy gold. This is not good but it probably reduces the amount of people that are walking around so that, that's even better. So I've got this grass area here. This is the reserve area. They have concerts and uh, Christmas dues and all that sort of stuff for the township. The jetty you can see over in the background behind those trees. That's where I did a bit of magnet fishing. And I actually did some detecting at the start of the jetty on the sand. I did find a, a thrippence, an 1898 thrippence. So what I'm looking at is this row of trees here and all along this area, all along the foreshore on the grass. I'm going to have a hunt around this grassy area all along here. And also down in the water's edge, it's uh, low tide now. So the low tides, it's nice and low, I can see. Um, but it's, it's definitely muddy sand, pretty much like at the spot I was at the other time. But I'll have a hunt, in, have a hunt all along here as well, and all along here. So I'm going to get in and hunt that first. I've got my 6-inch coil on the Equinox 800, so let's, let's get into it and see if we can find any targets in this spot down here. All right, guys. So I come down this little area, this little rock steps here, and I just swung the detector around here. I've got a 16 down here, right here. A couple of swings, and I got a first target, and we did find it. So we got a little bit of chain here. Not sure if that's off a bracelet. Might be off some jewellery. It's very green. Anyway, let's keep hunting. Rightio, guys. So the next target I got down here was a 25, and that's what it is. So we're probably going to find a lot of rubbish down here as well. And I've got a fair few signals at the moment and I haven't come very far, so let's get onto it. Okay guys, so another signal down here. 
I think it was ringing up in the uh, 20s, early 20s, but it is this little square nail. And it's starting to rain. Shit. Alright, I might have to um, put this phone in the waterproof case and I'll have to hand hold it. I'll have to dig the targets first and then show you the targets after I find them. That's the easiest way. Rightio, so as you can see guys, the weather is shit. I just had a signal down there. It's about 25, nice high tone, and I did find it. It's just a bolt. It must be made of brass or something. But, we'll see, I'll probably I'll probably head up here a little bit more, but then I'll get up on the grass in the trees up there and see if I can find any signals up there. We'll see how we go. Rightio, so I had a signal down here, guys, and it was ringing up pretty high, 30, 31, 33. And it was this. Not sure if it's the end off of pipe or something. It feels really heavy, like it could be lead. Really heavy. There you go. Probably an old end cap off a pipe, I'd say. Anyway, I'm not getting too many signals, so I'm going to run out of mud soon. What I might do is head up into those trees, just up there, search around the trees and on the grass area. Hopefully no, no people will sort of be walking around because they'll probably get the shits. So I'm not going to dig holes or anything, but I'll just dig little slits or something guys so she's pretty horrible weather at the moment now i was i was down in the in the mud um in the mangroves there i'm finding just mainly rubbish so i'm sort of going to just hunt around in these trees i've got a signal down here it was an 18 and they have popped out not one but two coins so i don't know what this one is Oh, that's a 50 cent piece actually. That's a 50. 50 cent piece. Huh. And this one. Oh, that's a $2 coin. So there you go. $2.50 in one, one signal. And it was an 18. That's weird. Okay, guys. Shit. Anyway, um, I scanned the hole again and it actually. There's something else in there, so I'll try and uh, I'll try and pop it out. Definitely, it's giving me something else. Oh, there we go. That's a one dollar coin. Now, before I take off and do more detecting elsewhere, let me just run the scanner over it again. No, nah, that's it. So anyway, I'll hunt around this tree. Oh, all these trees, I'll hunt around and we'll see how we go. Alright guys, well, couldn't have picked the worst day to do detecting. Holy moly. Anyway, I'm still in amongst all these trees here. Um, I haven't had any more coins yet, but we'll go back that way and we'll check it out. We'll just walk around the trees. I'm sure people would sit sit in amongst the trees because there is a sports oval just, just here, just out here. I'm sure there'd be people sitting amongst the trees, especially where it's hot and sunny. But now it's pissing rain. Hey guys, so whew, it is blowing. Wind's probably blowing 60k an hour. It is, uh, and there's some pretty stormy clouds around. But I had a signal down here, and it was a 26, and I did find it. It's a little coin. She's a little coin, so not sure what that'd be. It's probably a two cent coin, I'd say. Yeah, looks like yeah, it is a little two cent coin. Bummer. There is 
a mother and her son down here running. Would you believe that? Here they come. Running on the track in this horrid weather. That's keen. That is damn keen. This is horrible weather. Oh, oh, folks. All right, guys. Well, I haven't had too many targets. I did go out there in the in the middle of the grass area. Didn't really find anything. There's a, there's a lot of targets, but I just can't dig this place up too much. Uh, it's actually the wind has stopped. It's actually stopped at the moment. Very eerie. The sun's out. The sun's out, but I can see the grey all around there. So great, the storm's moving up, I think, towards where I live. Anyway, I'm going to hunt these trees here. I'm going to hunt around in here. I've got to walk out that way anyway to the car, so I'll hunt. I'll hunt around all these trees, and uh, hopefully we'll find a few more targets. If not, uh, didn't really do too well in the in the uh, along the foreshore area in the mud. A bit of rubbish. That's about it. And that chain, that little bit of chain, but uh, I don't know, I might have to try and research it a bit more, try and get exact spots where the houses used to be. Alright, well, it's calmed up a bit, but I reckon it'll be passing over quite a lot. I had a signal down here, guys. It was about a 22, 21, 22, but that was it. Just a, I don't know, glue packet. Nothing but trash. Alright guys, well, made it back from the hunt today wasn't fantastic i didn't find as many targets as i'd hoped i did have a lot of targets on the um, detector it was ringing up a lot all over the place i took the little six inch coil and that worked a treat it really it really honed in real real tight on the targets and uh got me got me onto them real quick a couple of uh couple of coins and so forth but a lot of rubbish a lot of rubbish there there were a few numbers that i didn't dig either let's check out what i got Alright guys, so these are the targets from today's hunt in that miserable, windy, rainy weather. Nearly got blown off the park. Anyway, we're starting on the left, we found a lot of rubbish. Little bits of rubbish. They ring up good though. This one probably rang up at 21 with a nice tone. This one rang in at pretty high up there, 19, 18. Just a ring off the bottle cap. This one came in, I think, at about 22. That's just a glue bottle or some sort of bottle. Um, we did find a few pull tabs as well. And one bottle cap, which rang up good, like 21, 22. Then we found a few nails. Nails, older, old stuff that's been sitting in that in the muddy area. I did find this there too. So it looks like you put something obviously in there, you tighten this up and it, and it tightens up onto it. So it's just a... A bolt mechanism nut mechanism tightening onto something but looks like it's made out of brass or something brass or copper or some sort of metal uh, some sort of different metal anyway and then we found two small nails um, this one's a little square nail so that's pretty old that's older older style so we know the history's there um, and I did find this now this is a big chunk of lead and I know it's lead because when I squeeze on it, it it was starting to move for me. So I'll see if I can squeeze it. It's pretty damn heavy and hard. I don't know if I'll be able to. Probably need two hands. But, oh no, can't push that. Let me see if I can push it down. Whoa. There we go. Oh, there you go. So it is lead. You can squish it, and it is very, very heavy too. So maybe just the end off a pipe or something. Probably an older one, because I don't think they use a lot of lead now. But we did find, and I think this might be some sort of jewellery off a, off a maybe a wrist wrist bracelet, because there is two two pieces on each one. So that could be off a wrist bracelet. So that's that's a bit of jewellery. And we found two three dollars fifty in the one hole, which was pretty cool, less digging. And we did find one two cent coin. 
which is not real cool because I've got a gazillion of these. Would have been nice if it was a pre-decimal. But anyway, that's the um, that's the results from today's hunt. Not a real good result, but it's a little bit hard to dig in that area because of the area and you can't really dig holes or, or dig plugs. People will start talking and saying stuff about it. Okay, guys, well, thanks for coming along on this treasure hunt with me. It was atrocious weather. It was really crap. It was just not good. But I wanted to go down there to that area because I know there's a lot of history in that area. Hopefully, I'll be able to pinpoint or find a better spot along that foreshore area that I can actually find a few older targets. So make sure you hit that like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you want to come along and do more treasure hunts with me. And don't forget to turn your notification bell on. I'm Chris Indoors Outdoors with Edgy, and I'll see you guys on the next hunt.